And today I have with me Sabrina Blau, who is a mom and a mindfulness instructor and someone who has experienced adversity in birth and prenatally and really persevered. And I'm so pleased to have her be a part of our adverse birth and prenatal events panel. So welcome, Sabrina. Well, thanks, Kate. Uh, it's, I'm glad to be here. It's a joy and uh, it's oh, be it's, exciting. Yeah, we, we've been talking and I just know, like I told you before, your story is a story of hope and, a, and, it's, and it's, it really shows some extraordinary metal on your part, but I feel like women can hear your story and birth advocates can hear your story and we can all learn uh, like what it is, like what, what, how, how is it? Can we make change? And 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 then it's a system that really needs to change. So, um, why don't you just tell people a little bit more about what you want them to know about you before we talk about what you're going to present? Yes, I think it's also important to know a little bit about me because of my background, and it will also show and highlight um, what helped me do to um, participate or to to start change happen in a hospital environment, which you just described so well. Um, well, I'm from Germany. So I relocated here to Canada a few years ago, right before I got pregnant. And um, I worked as a mindfulness-based stress uh, reduction teacher. So I've worked with people who have been um, patients in the health system mm -hmm. and be it physically, emotionally, or whatever reason they they were being part of the system and sucked in. And what I realized is um, the system cures, but it does not really heal or it may cure. At, and what I think is best case scenario, curing and healing, meeting each other. Mm -hmm. And that's also been my part in helping people see who am I um, on this journey on earth. And I am whole despite my illness. I'm whole despite... Um, you know, be it depression, I'm not my depression, I am not my stroke, or whatever it is, there's seems to be a strong identification with that. And especially in the hospital, in my environment, when things just got rolling, and it seems to steamroll over people and, mm -hmm. and it kind of breaks them apart, and it doesn't help them bring them back together, or mm -hmm. they are already whole, actually, that's my feeling. And we're working on that and discovering their innate wisdom and their innate um, connection to themselves again, and or rediscover it, and it may have been um, fallen away before, or during their stay in hospitals, or, you know, um, cancer patients, whatever it might be. And it's, as long as you're breathing, there's more right with you than wrong with you. And that's um, a quote from John Kabat-Zinn. And I think that's true. Mm. And um, yeah, just, oh, I get so excited talking about yeah, it. I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm <laughs> talking about something else. But yeah. in a way, um, mindfulness has been a true help in my personal life, um, coming as an um product manager, business development manager. So I have a business background and seeing how business has been changed um, through um, what is commonly called successful change management. And I'm like, whoa, I don't feel this is successful because there's human resources who are suffering and human resources, that's us. And it was also me. And I saw how the climate has deteriorated and the numbers, great, but what happened to those people and what does fear do to a work culture and also not just in a work culture, but with ourselves. Yeah. And I feel that there's the coming back to the health system. I think it's a lot governed by fear, especially if you're pregnant and giving birth, it's all about controlling something. Mm -hmm. And this is also important. Like if there is an emergency, yes, do it. I'm not saying no, lay back and hands off. If I have a heart attack, I want immediate attention. So this is true and important work. Mm -hmm. And also we need some more, like the, the whole picture of the person wholeness. Yes, I agree. I'm not, that's exciting to hear more about your work and what you want to do with it. But 
the work that you're going to talk about in our adverse prenatal and birth panel is your own personal experience of your difficult pregnancy and, and birth and how you made change in the hospital system there. It was, was it there in Canada that you did this? Yes, in Canada, yeah. Now, why don't you share with people what you're gonna talk about uh, um, for our panel? Well, I'm gonna share about the challenges through my pregnancy because there were quite some challenges. Mm -hmm. And then I will focus on, of course, the birth experience, which, was adverse <laughs> to put it in a more neutral way i felt it was traumatic mm -hmm. and um and it was not the birth i expected and i wanted to have and what i was prepared to have yet i was prepared if things go wrong to have my birth plan to go to, through worst case scenarios to have i have done a lot of research prior mm -hmm. to make it my own birth mm -hmm. and not being so you know um at mercy in a way or with other things and other experts. And I knew I'm gonna be in a state in an altered state. So my logic or my, my logic thinking and working with people might not work that way. So I was prepared yet I was not prepared at all mm -hmm. um, to what happened. And I've been laboring before going to hospital for um, I think 60 hours. So it was a long, long, long labor and I knew I'm not gonna get anywhere <laughs> as my water had broke it also got like okay we need a little bit of um, uh, induction a little bit of help yet I also knew as soon as I start one procedure the next will come and roll out you know when you start one the likelihood of the next is going to be coming and that's how it came to be like you know, Pitocin. And then mm -hmm. after that, I was so exhausted also. Um, I requested, um, yeah, and the epidural. And I knew, okay, another consequences. And what was in my birth plan, I had talked to my midwife. I actually wanted to give birth with midwives in a birth center, which is completely different than in a hospital mm -hmm. birth environment. And they were there. And um, I talked to the doctor and the nurses or the nurse present and that my epidural being turned off for the last stage of labor, which did not happen. Mm -hmm. And I think I'm, I'm just going to stop here with the details. It was just, it did not happen. I, I was not listened to. I was not heard my requests and I felt like a nuisance <laughs> when I had my request. I was not an easy patient. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, it went off and spiraled down you could say further with um with my experience and i felt defeated in that moment and you know i my only concern was that my baby is fine and it was a life and death situation maybe for me and um yeah that's um where we were left going home a day after when i was really really weak and i had lost a lot of blood and I just said to the nurse, I need an iron transfusion. I'm so weak. I mm -hmm. can barely stand. And she said, no, your hemoglobin is fine. Bye. <laughs> Take some iron supplements. And I was like, oh, okay. If this is how women feel after birth. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't know how you would do it a second time. Yeah. And um, well, you know, now we are going to move forward in time. And I felt... I really needed to make change in that hospital and to say, hey, this was not okay. And this was one of the things that happened that was not okay. There were several. And I wrote them a letter and I was sure, I, my intention was to create, to be heard and seen and listened to the, the mistakes being acknowledged, but also that there will be change for future mom to bees and moms and babies so that they don't have to go through it in this hospital mm -hmm. again ever and changes have been happening since and mm -hmm. this is the hopeful part of the story and i hope the story will will touch you the listener and inspire you and give you hope that change is possible and um, yeah if we listen within ourselves and speak up when we feel it's appropriate and to say hey this is not okay and what I also experienced is talking to other moms 
it's not a my only experience no. it's a universal experience that they're not happy and I was like ah oh, you know that's how it is in the hospital kind of and something is lacking and that's what I would like to change yes and you did you did change and then I'm looking forward to having people get to know you and hear your story and be inspired and maybe take steps to make change happen uh, for them and for their communities so thank you for coming today, Sabrina. Thanks for inviting me. <laughs> I so look forward to having you. It's going to be great. <laughs>